I get questions all the time about Social Security. In fact, I got emails from two of you today on this issue. That was Rudy and Dave. Thank you for writing in, guys. And they both asked roughly the same thing. How can Social Security have a $2.5 trillion surplus, and yet everyone says it's just a bunch of IOUs? Well, that's a great question, so here's the answer. Of course, you pay into Social Security in your whole, for throughout your whole life through the payroll tax. And for a long time, we collected more payroll tax than we had to pay out in benefits. So we built up a Social Security surplus, and that's what we have now, $2.5 trillion surplus. But here's the part they never tell you about. They took that money out of Social Security and spent it on the rest of the budget. So that surplus was spent on wars, tax cuts, etc. Now, they still owe you that money, like they owe China the money we borrowed from them to run our government in the short run. But when they go to pay your benefits in any given year, they have more trouble because they already spent the money. Now, they would never suggest that we shouldn't pay back China or anyone else we borrowed money from because that would put it in, into question our full faith and credit of the United States. The financial markets would flip out over that. So they never refer to that money as just a bunch of IOUs. But when it comes to the money that they borrowed from your Social Security surplus that you paid into your whole life, well, then that's just a bunch of IOUs. There is no surplus in okay. there. It's a bunch of IOUs. Okay, that's what I wanted it's to actually two get and it. A half, listen, two and a half trillion bucks of uh -huh. IOUs. Now, since they don't want to pay you back what they owe you, politicians in Washington are talking about how Social Security is in dire straits. It's totally not true. They're just in a panic over how to pay back that surplus that they already spent on other priorities. Now, here come Democrats and Republicans with their fake emergencies. Here is Democratic Senator Dick Durbin. In 2037, as we know it, Social Security falls off a cliff. There's a 22% reduction in payments, which is really not something we can tolerate. If we deal with it today, it's an easier solution than waiting. I think we ought to deal with it. So Social Security pays 100% of your benefits for another 26 years. And if you don't, quote, fix it, they still pay 78% of benefits 26 years from now. How is that falling off a cliff? But notice that was Dick Durbin, a so-called liberal Democrat, playing the same exact rhetorical tricks as the Republicans. He's part of the gang of six senators who claim that they are going to come up with a proposal for deficit reduction somewhere between Congressman Ryan's Republican plan and President Obama's plan which means it is already massively on conservative ground. And as part of that plan, they will reform Social Security. Now look, if reform means they raise the cap on who pays the payroll tax, and some of the upper brackets have to continue paying into Social Security at higher levels of income, great, no problem. That makes sense. Everybody chips in. If, on the other hand, they mean raising the retirement age, that means they are coming to rob you. They don't want to pay you your full benefits. They will make you work longer and not pay you the benefits you've gotten that you would have gotten if you had retired in uh, the time that we have not now. That's when you should be in open revolt. Don't let the Republicans do that to you. But don't let the Democrats do that to you either. Don't let anyone try to pull the wool over your eyes on that. The Social Security surplus is real. That's money you paid into. That's money you're owed. And under no circumstances should you let these Washington politicians take that from you. All right. Now, thank you for watching. You can always follow me online at theyoungturks.com, on YouTube at The Young Turks. Facebook has us at TYT Nation, and, TYT, and Twitter, you can follow us on The Young Turks. Hardball starts right now.